and welcome to another episode of the Grim Ripper. Today is Saturday and we all know that that means the Saturday skirmish. So if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and if you would like to be involved in our Friday giveaways you need to be a public subscriber to the channel so make sure you've got your settings such that I can see your subscriptions also, you need to comment on videos. Those are the two things you need to do to be entered in our Friday get a, uh, Friday giveaways. Excuse me. All right. So for today's Saturday skirmish, I would like to thank Debbie for uh, so for uh, being one of our sponsors in the Saturday skirmish today, and I'd also like to thank Steve for being our other sponsor for the Saturday skirmish. We just had two people sign up, so this will be a slightly abbreviated Saturday skirmish. I will tell you these are a lot more interesting, a lot more fun, and there's a lot more, uh, uh, well, I don't know what the word is. They're just more fun when we have more people in them. So I would encourage you to head on over to the Grim Ripper's Den and get signed up for our next Saturday skirmish. I'll get that one put into the store uh, hopefully this evening and remember our patreon members get a 48 hour early look at that and they get to uh, you know purchase in before everyone else does so if you'd like to get the, in on the early access perks you would need to go over to our patreon page and get signed up for a minimum of three dollars a month that's only 10 cents a day that gives you early access to all sponsorships all uh, buy-ins, you know, everything early for 48 hours. And that also gets you uh, a free card every month, month that I send out. And I try to uh, personalize that to you. All right. Well, since this is going to be an abbreviated Saturday skirmish today, I'll, I'd better explain the rules a little bit. So we have two players. We're going to run this as a best out of three. So each contestant has three packs of Donruss cards. These are their weapons of war today in these pack wars. So whoever wins the best two out of three contests will win the whole competition. So round one and round two will have prizes specific to those rounds. So uh, if someone happens to win the first two rounds, they will get both round prizes plus the championship prize. Uh, for more suspense, I would like this to go three rounds. So we'll see if that happens. If it goes three rounds, then that third round will, could be an opportunity to steal, of course, the championship from somebody. So that's how it will work. Best two out of three. I have already randomly chosen the uh, categories for today. So I'll have three categories. And we're going to have Debbie on the left side of the screen here and Steve on the right side of the screen. So that's how this will work. Best two out of three, Debbie to my left, Steve to my right. And good luck to both of you. Let's get these pack wars underway. I'm going to show you the prizes you'll be playing for. Round one is going to be this Topps Chrome bonus pink refractor cards pack. So this is, of course, an unopened pack of the bonus pink refractor cards. We don't know who is in this, but that will be the round one prize. Round two is going to be this value pack of 2020 Topps Stadium Club. And this is a really nice set. The photography is just awesome on this. And uh, so that's going to be the second round prize. And the third round or championship, it could be the championship prize after two rounds, remember, if somebody takes the first two. But if we go three rounds, it's also the prize. It's going to be this blaster box of Topps 2020 Series 2 Baseball. So that is going to be the champion prize tonight. So um, I won't be opening these on the channel tonight. Uh, I'm not sure which way you all would like to go in the future maybe in the comments for this video go ahead and put your preference if you would like to see these prizes opened on the channel or if you would prefer that the prizes be sent sealed to the winners um, I'll do it either way 
If uh, you'd like to see them open, throw your vote in there. If you'd like to see them sent sealed, throw your vote for that. All right, well, let's get started. Round one, the prize being the Topps Chrome Pink Refractor Set. Debbie, you're on the left, so you will be first. I'm gonna lay your packs down over here and yours over here, Steve. The first category for tonight is most career games. Most career games. So we're looking for some nice veteran players that have had lots of games under the, their belt. Okay. So Debbie, you're going to start out with Brian Reynolds tonight. We'll flip through these cards and then we'll look at the games. Clayton Kershaw. We've got a Matt Carpenter. A Bruzdar Gratterall. Alex Bregman, Trey Turner, have a Lorenzo Kane, and a Jose Canseco. And I, I think there are stats on the back of these cards. So if there indeed are stats on the back of the Jose Canseco card, that might be your guy that's going to lead out today. So let's get these flipped over. Lorenzo Kane has 1,045 games right over here. So for the moment, that's the leader, 1,045. Trey Turner can't beat that. Alex Bregman has no stats for that. 10 games for Bruce Star Gratterall. Oh, here we go. Matt Carpenter has 1,149. So he's your leader right now, 1,149. 347 games for Clayton Kershaw. 134 games for um, Brian Reynolds, and here we go, Jose Canseco, they do have stats here, his game's total for Jose Canseco is 1,887, so that will beat Matt Carpenter, Carpenter for you, Deb, so right now, Jose Canseco is leading the pack for Debbie, for most career games. All right, Steve, here's your first pack of cards. You need to beat 1,887 games. Jose Canseco, nice veteran there. But there are some players who have many, many more games than that. If you pull like a Cal Ripken or a, ooh, I think there's a numbered card in this pack too. But if you pull like a Cal Ripken or a uh, Ricky Henderson or someone like that, then uh, I think you'll win it. So we've got Francisco Lindor, Corey Seager, Yusei Kikuchi, Zach Gallen, Fernando Tatis, and look at this Elite Series. That's a beautiful card of... Paul Goldschmidt. Let's see if that's a numbered card. That one is not numbered. Interesting. A very nice card, though. And then we have Yandy Diaz and Aaron Savale. Aaron Savale is the last one in the pack. I didn't see any really old veterans here. Well, let's see what we got. 167 games for Yandy Diaz. Paul Goldschmidt is not showing any stats there. No stats on the back of a Diamond Kings card. 15 games for Zach. He's a rookie, so there's not going to be much anyway. 32 for Yusei Kikuchi. 489 for Corey Seager. 717 for Francisco Lindor. And 10 games for Aaron Savale. So, Debbie, you have taken round one of today's Saturday Skirmish. Round one goes to Debbie. All right, we're going to leave that Canseco up there so everyone can, can see that she won round one. Okay, round two. So, Debbie, you get the Topps Chrome bonus pink refractor cards. That's going to go into your Spoils of War stack right there. Now, second round, we're playing for the Stadium Club, a 2020 Top Stadium Club value pack. 
All right, Debbie, you are up. Here's your pack. And our second category for this evening is most career home runs. Most career home runs. Let's see who you got in your pack tonight, Debbie. Okay. I want to show Liam with those stats on the back as we open it. Here we have Javier Baez to start things off. Nolan Arenado. J.D. Martinez. Zach Collins rookie card. Bam Bam. That's going to be one of those uh, nickname um, variations of cards. Of course, that is Brian Harper. Gavin Lux rookie card. A Jonathan Villar. Dave Winfield, now you've got yourself another veteran player in Dave Winfield, and he's a Hall of Famer, so that could be your man right there in round two, Deb. Here we go, home runs. Jonathan Villar has 78 career home runs. Gavin Lux has two. Being a rookie, that makes sense. 219 for Bryce Harper. I think I said Brian Harper earlier. I apologize. That's Bryce Harper, isn't it? So that's the leader for the moment. 219. Zachary has three. J.D. Martinez has 231. So J.D. Martinez is now your leader. 227 for Nolan Arenado. 110 for Javier Baez. So we need to beat 231 with our Dave Winfield. Home runs for Dave Winfield, the great Hall of Famer. He ended his career with 465 home runs. So, Deb, that is your leader right now with 400 and 65 home runs. All right, Steve, you have got your work cut out for you again. 465 home runs. So let us see what we can get from your second pack right here. 465, that's pretty good. Not too far away from the 500 home run club. We're going to start out with an Ozzy uh, Albies, Kevin Biggio, Brandon Crawford. Oh, here's a good one. Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. El Mago. Kyle Lewis, that's a nice rookie to get right there. We've got a nice in a uh, nice uh, foil card of Paul Goldschmidt, and Yu Chang is going to be the last card in your pack. All right, I believe that Kirby Puckett is the most likely candidate to have more than 465 home runs. Brandon Crawford has 98. That won't do it. Kevin Biggio has 16 home runs, 54 home runs for Ozzy Albies, one home run for Yu Cheng Chang, Paul Goldschmidt, 243, six home runs for Kyle Lewis, 110 for Javier Baez, Kirby Puckett. Let's see. How many home runs Kirby Puckett ended his career with? If this is not high enough to beat Debbie, she's going to win round two and therefore the whole competition. If this is more than Dave Winfield's total of 465, we will go into a round three. Kirby Puckett had 207 home runs. That means that Debbie wins round two, which gives her the best two out of three record. She is going to take home the prize for the whole competition. And 
I congratulate you, Debbie. That was a nice run you just had. Now, if I did... I think you won last week's Saturday Skirmish, too. All right. Well, congratulations, Deb. Why don't we go ahead and open these last two packs of your weapons of war for each side. Let's see what kind of cards each of you take home from just your weapons of war packs. We'll start with yours, Deb. And let's see what we have. All right, oh, bounced my camera to the side there by accident. There we go. We've got a Jorge Polanco, a Michael Conforto, Kyle Schwarber, there's a nice Mike Trout Diamond King, Mookie Betts, wow, look at that. Bobby Witt Jr. rated prospect, it's not numbered, but it is one of those fancy, fancy cards. That's a nice card right there. Then you have Mitch Garver and Zach Collins. All right, and Steve, your last pack for your weapons of war is going to contain a Lorenzo Cain, Jonathan Villar, Wilson Contreras, Shane Bieber, Shohei Otani, an American Pride USA Baseball Team card of Spencer Torkelson, a Dwight Gooden foil, and a Cal Ripken. Even Cal Ripken, had you had Cal Ripken in that second round, he did not have enough home runs to beat Dave Winfield. Dave Winfield was just a, an amazing home run hitter. All right. Well, that will do it for Saturday Skirmish for this week. I would like to thank both Debbie and Steve for participating. Debbie takes home the big prizes, two rounds of wars, and the championship prize for this week. I hope that more of you will sign up for next uh, Saturday Skirmish. It is so much better when we have more players. It was pretty fun with four. It's fun with two, but it's even more fun with at least eight. And the game was originally designed for 16. So let's work on getting more and more folks to sign up for this one. The prizes will get better and better the more folks who sign up. So I appreciate everyone who uh, signed up for this one. I appreciate all the support the channel is getting. I haven't checked subscriptions today, but we were closing in on 200 subscribers. So I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed and everyone who comments on the channel. Head on over to Patreon. See if you would like to sponsor us through Patreon as well and get some of the extra perks provided there. Also, make sure you check out the Grim Ripper's Den. See if there's any product there you'd like to see me open on the channel. Or if you'd like to sign up for things like Saturday Skirmish on the Grim Ripper's Den. And if you'd like to email us for any reason, our email is in the description of this video. It is thegrimripper1969 at gmail.com. So you can email us there with questions, comments, or any other reason you'd like to email us. So in the meantime, I hope everyone has a wonderful Saturday, and we'll see everyone tomorrow for Sunday Stacks. Nice lazy day of opening cards. We're chasing uh, some specific cards in 1990 Upper Deck. And I'll also be opening some more uh, 2020 Tops Heritage tomorrow for my personal set and stacking up more doubles in that stack that will become a giveaway as well on the channel. So thanks again for dropping by for Saturday Skirmish. We'll see everybody next time. Good night.